Well, hello there, Newcastle, and a very pleasant welcome. Yes, welcome to Newswatch Nightly. <laughs> You've made it through a whole day, <laughs> and it's Tuesday, the 25th, and uh, wow, as uh, things uh, just kind of... Um, I, I don't know. In Newcastle, and a very pleasant welcome. There we go. We'll get that off. <laughs> and uh, we'll get that off. Now, that that looks like a little bit better. <laughs> As uh, sometimes stuff goes like that. You, you can't help it. It's the gremlins. And um, as I'm queuing up everybody along our NCTV 45 lines, I got to say, what a beautiful day today. It was absolutely gorgeous. And uh, if you haven't got out, if you're just getting out of work, why not head out and uh, kind of get yourself to maybe the pool? <laughs> Uh, just any great place, because uh, it is gorgeous. Um, I do intend to tell you how gorgeous, and but like I'm caught up with this little button here. One more. Uh, and uh, there you go. Now, I'll tell you how gorgeous it is. As we stroll along and get ready for news watch in Newcastle, currently 81 degrees under sunny skies, and uh, all aboard! It's NCTV 45, the train news watch, straight ahead. Castle and Lawrence County, then think again. Always stay connected to NCTV 45 to receive the information on events going on in and around the area on a daily basis. Programs to view are Newswatch, The Morning Show, and Community Happenings. NCTV 45 takes pride in bringing you the event and organization info that you want. NCTV 45 is the number one media source locally. NCTV 45, anytime on your time. NewAgeSigns.com NewAgeSigns.com When you're looking for that professional look. Today's program was paid for by a grant from Pegley's Pasta and More East Washington Street in Newcastle. Simple elegance in a majestic setting. Yes, right here in downtown Newcastle. Minutes away from shopping. Seconds from a gas station. And let's not forget pastries, a restaurant, and oh yes, the schools. The majestic for that majestic lifestyle right in the greatest castle new castle come by and take a look well very pleasant welcome back to newswatch and i'm going to start with a story that probably shouldn't be started with. There you go. Class of 79, Lawrence County Vote Tech graduates. It's the 40th reunion. And um, this in, uh, there, it, this is at the Ben Franklin Highway. Uh, gatherings, banquet center, and event center. Four to eight. PM 
hors d'oeuvres, four to five. Uh, the cost is $20 per person. RSVP, ASAP, two. Melene Klingensmith, Denise Gresman Johnson, Don Roberts. Payment is needed by August 10th. Check, money order, set up cash drop, or um, and save the date on your calendar. Votech graduates, 40-year anniversary. Reunion. And Union has their 40th reunion. And that's at Edwards, and we've been putting that out. So go Scotties. And um, two reunions out of the way. Brother Knights, we have a social meeting this Wednesday, the 26th at 7.30. Hope everyone could be there. That in from Brian Frank. Okay, and here is a more serious note. PennDOT, Pennsylvania Fishing Boat Commission and Pennsylvania State Police highlight responsibilities with boating and driving. Yeah, now that the weather finally broke, got nice, it isn't raining. I just told you it was 81 degrees. You know, don't drink and think you're going to be driving the boat or doing these other things. Pennsylvania Department of Education, the Pennsylvania Department of Transportation, Leslie S. Richards, along with representatives from Pennsylvania Fishing and Boat Commission and Pennsylvania State Police, held a meeting today at the City Island Boat Launch, urging safety and responsibility, whether on a boat or driving a vehicle. Safety is PennDOT's most important priority which is why we work closely with our partners and law enforcement to reduce impaired driving, Richard said. Through Independence Day is a time for celebration. Uh, though Independence, we urge Pennsylvanians to designate a sober driver and wear their seat belts through the coming holiday and throughout the coming year. So, um, Please be safe out there. It doesn't make any sense not to. And uh, Ladies Guild, you know, we have that merging of churches. Uh, NCLC, by the way, NCLC Living will be up tonight. As I've switched up the week, last night I did an editorial. Tonight, NCLC Living, which is usually on on Wednesdays. But the Cedar Sports Corner with Alex is going to be on tomorrow night. So... The Ladies Guild of St. Vitus will hold its meeting Tuesday the 25th today with St. Vincent de Paul at 6.30. Um, this is a very informative meeting. Desserts will be provided. Further, call Sandy at 724-657-0138 or Carol 724-944-4929. And, uh, you know, hey... It's time to um, start coming together as a faith community, and uh, I think that's a great thing as my papers go off to the side. Anyways, meanwhile, now tomorrow, this is going to happen. Help work at the Lower East Side Community Garden. They're looking for hands to get dirty and not pick up someone else's trash for a change. Join us as we partner with the Lower East Side Community Garden, Columbia Gas to take on a variety of tasks. Stump removal, brush and tree trimming, uh, pruning, painting. Yes, you need to stop that right. Uh, it says building a compost area and uh, a rain garden are some of the things they'll be tackling. This is Wednesday the 26th at 9. Sign in at 8.45. Meet at the garden, 202 North Walnut Street. Okay, rain or shine. If you have questions, 724 
658-6925. Okay, dress appropriately and wear, be prepared to get dirty. Gloves are provided. Lunch and drinks will also be provided. Feel free to bring garden tools, pruners, etc. if you have them. So, bang. That gets you first through the first segment of Newswatch. As um, I'm, I'm telling you, just a number of things rolling on. Now, we're going to take and go to the Cedars Sports Corner. And, you know, the Buckos, they took yesterday off because they had 11-10 win. Everybody's talking about it. Did you see it? They walked in a run. They had a walk-off walk. Now, that's, that's unbelievable that you would have a walk-off walk. But, hey, and you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to mix it up just for my friend that I see him out there. And we're going to go to weather, and um, we'll be right back. Amenities, lush fairways, and great greens, and many challenging shots. Your crowd will applaud. A short drive from Butler, Sharon, Pittsburgh, Elwood, and Youngstown. It's Sylvan Heights Golf Course in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. Tuscany Square Restaurant, 3470 Wilmington Road where old world charm meets the modern conveniences of today. Spacious seating and amenities await. Fresh ingredients that make that just right pizza or entree. It's Tuscany Square for your next event. Stop and see us or give us a call at 724-654-0365. Let's get to Lawrence County 45 weather and uh, well after last night's scattered rainfall and that low of 66 maybe you got your kicks <laughs> but little little joke there for those of a older group and uh, let's look at radar clear off to our west and on the national scene, you see that also. So that can mean one thing and only one thing, sunshine. Now, the sunshine is going to go all week. So let's love it. This is what it's going to be. Tuesday, sunny 77. Tuesday night, partly cloudy 63. Wednesday, mostly sunny and 81. Wednesday night partly cloudy and 64. Thursday, sunny and 84. Thursday night, partly cloudy with a low of 61. Friday, mostly sunny and 85. Friday night, partly cloudy with a low of 66. Saturday, sunshine, 82. And then there's a slight chance of rain, but Saturday night, mostly cloudy, 62. And then Sunday, sunny with a high of 79. So that was Lawrence County 45 weather. Here's hoping you get out and enjoy. And, uh, well, we're going to be right back after we hear from these great sponsors. Standing by my Today's programming is brought to you by NCTV 45 and NC Radio 450, Newcastle Community Television Station. Nico and Sons Sales and Service, 347 East Washington Street, Newcastle, has lawnmowers of every type. Zero Turn Country Clippers, Bain the USA, 42 inch to 54 inch cut. Batteries by Oregon. They'll service at your home or their shop 
Service specials start as low as $69. Call Jim Micko and Sons, 724-652-69. Your family and friends will be pleased if you suggest dining at Mary's Middle Eastern Restaurant in Newcastle. Lamb and chicken dishes, stuffed grape leaves, tabbouleh, hummus, kibbe, and so much more from their huge menu. When you're looking for something different for your dining experience, then Mary's is the answer. Many of their customers come in from nearby counties. Mary's Middle Eastern Restaurant, located on Long Avenue in Newcastle. Call 724-652-2447. Customer satisfaction guarantee. Contact us today at 724-498-4760. Arlington Market, located at 726 Arlington Avenue, has all the great food you remember. Yes, their canned goods are fantastic and feature that old world taste. And meat, cheeses, produce, lunch meats, fresh cut meats, groceries, and so much more. It's Arlington Market. It'll make your table look spectacular. Well, we're back and um, just moving along. And um, you're invited and save this day for shame. Now, shame, it's not like shame on you. Shame is a band. They're going to be performing August 3rd at 8 p.m. at the Sons of Italy. So stop down and uh, enjoy what we have on the south side and I ran that for my good friend Sam or uh, Mary's always there every time I go there not only do I get great food they support the community and uh, they deserve your support so uh, check out Mary's now as we're rolling along the state of Pennsylvania they're uh, looking at manufacturing you know the unemployment rate is the lowest since 1976 so Governor Wolf okay steps up and he does a PA innovation program awards 1.7 million to shape manu shape the future of manufacturing. He announced that um, he was going to do this through universities, and those universities, Bucknell, Carnegie Mellon, Drexel, Lehigh, University of Pennsylvania, Penn State, Penn State Barron, University of Pittsburgh, and Robert Morris, Temple, and Philadelphia. So, three are in the western part of the state nice try governor we need you to do it 50 50 so uh, just so you know thanks governor Tom Wolf now um, we've got a lot more um, this in from the Pokeberry exchange they're hosting an educational talk on CBD oil. Miracle or Mirage, presented by Susan Linville, Saturday the 29th at 2 p.m. Dr. Linville will present information on CBD, how it's processed, what to look for when you're buying it, and what medicinal qualities it has. For more information, call 724 651-1233 and uh, find out about that. Now, let's find out about the Buccos who um, took Monday off because they had 11-10 win. Okay, and uh, they're going to be back in action tonight. Let's check it out with the Cedar Sports Corner.
program was provided through funding from Cedars Restaurant in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. A special thanks to Cedars featuring Middle Eastern, Italian, and American cuisine. Sylvan Heights Golf Course in Newcastle, Pennsylvania features many amenities, lush fairways, and great greens, and many challenging shots. Your crowd will applaud. A short drive from Butler, Sharon, Pittsburgh, Elwood, and Youngstown. It's Sylvan Heights Golf Course in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. Hello and welcome right now to the Cedar Sports Corner and Major League Baseball taking center stage and let's get right to your matchups. Pittsburgh Pirates visit Houston while Cleveland's at home against Kansas City. Elsewhere, you've got Toronto at the New York Yankees. The Phillies, they're at they're, the Phillies are at home against the Mets. San Diego's at Baltimore. Chicago's at Boston. Now, after that, and I told you Kansas City why they're at Cleveland. So, that brings us to the afternoon games. And um, Chicago, they're at Boston. Later on in the evening, you'll see the Dodgers take on Arizona. Colorado take on San Francisco. And Cincinnati take on the Angels. This was the Sears Sp Sports Corner Report. And we're going to take this break. And we'll be right back after this timeout. Friends, I'm Gary West. And whether you find Augustine's Pizza at your local grocery store, or the folks at Augustine's Pizza hope that their pizza is always your first choice for any and all occasions. Hi friends, I'm Gary West. And whether you find Augustine's Pizza at your local grocery store, or the folks at Augustine's Pizza hope that their pizza is always your first choice for any and all occasions. Hey, when you need to get out and have just a little bit of a relaxing afternoon, morning, I got a great idea. Why don't you go play around the golf? And you don't have to go to the big courses, be crowded off, no, go a short drive route right up Route 18 to New Wilmington, Pennsylvania, and you'll see Moreland's. A great par 3 golf course, Moreland's. Just right for you. Newcastle's Brothers Market, where you can get a money order, transfer money, pay bills, and play the lotto too. There's milk, juice, pop, and more. Yes, at two convenient locations, 1308 West State Street and 835 Moravia Street in Newcastle, where your business is always appreciated. Brothers Market, the market just right for you. Well, folks, we're back as we're traveling through Newswatch nightly and uh, getting you all kind of caught up. And, uh, you know, we always take a quick look at the mailbag. And uh, here we go. Ben George, thank you for joining NCTV45. Amanda DiCaprio, thanks for your kind comments. Missy... Melissa Kaluka, thank you, and uh, they're doing that for Chuck Brogan, and um, I'm going to mention it again, it's a pasta dinner and Chinese auction, okay, 
and that will be the 29th okay and um, good luck Chuck as we put it out there and um, I'm going to take another gander at it because my monitor moved okay and uh, 12 to 5 Union Township Fire Hall okay the 29th pasta dinner make sure that you got it labeled and this is this is a great thing that when we go to the mailbag we can uh, get you caught up on a lot of what's going on Ed Yoren thanks for your kind work with baseball and uh, he does a lot to keep us informed now tonight's schedule okay for uh, junior high Laurel at Reynolds 6 p.m. at Reynolds Pony League Clarion at Newcastle and that'll be at Newcastle but they didn't say what field and North County the Heroes at the Bombers 615 Brady's Run and uh, we're still waiting to be able to do a game from Flaherty as uh, it's rained those weekends and I really don't know how they're going to get them in you know, um, as uh, we keep trying to bring you up to date and uh, kind of keep you abreast on that information. Now, um, strolling at your screen, don't forget, don't let a kid go hungry. Um, this is the food and fun. Those under 18, get them something to eat. They have snacks and uh, also lunch. Some places have breakfast. So, uh, and there's a dinner in there uh, from five to six, and it just scrolled across. So, um, don't let those kids go hungry. Warning scam calls targeting property and tax rebates. Once again, the state will not call you asking for banking information says Hassel the department secretary of the department of revenue if you get one of those calls it ain't true don't give out that banking information ever now let's take this break here from these great sponsors on this fast breaking news watch and we'll be right back GKG.com. This program sponsored by Lombardo's Apothecary, located at 1230 South Mill Street on the south side of Newcastle. Today's programming is brought to you by NCTV 45 and NC Radio 450. Newcastle's community television station. Well, we're back, and um, just like that, you've completed Nightly News Watch, and uh, 
You know, remember Ladies Guild at St. Vitus. Remember all those little things coming up tonight that you might want to do. Make sure you get out. Now, it's starting to cloud up here in Newcastle. And uh, I'm going to check uh, the right now just to make sure, see how radar is for you. Currently 81 in what I call the greatest castle in the world. And uh, we're seeing ground clutter on our radar. And it's off to the south and east. As uh, when we look to the west, nothing really. Um, there might be some scattered activity in Youngstown that will probably drift into Mercer County. And uh, I say that because as we look at the wind, it's from the west at 10 miles an hour. So it's not, uh, it's, it gusts to 16, but it's, it's just not going to do it to bring it south here. You're going to see as you look towards the North Hill, though, you're going to see the clouds build in, and that's what's happening right this second. So, uh, hey, and tonight mostly clear in 81. So uh, there, there's a little updated weather for you, and uh, that's something you can get on NCTV 45. It's not Pittsburgh. It's not Youngstown. It's not all those other places. It's Newcastle. And uh, I have one thing to say. And you've been doing it because I have it coming to our website. And I know how many people actually go to the website because the website's available anytime on your time. And you don't get lost in like Facebook or. And, and then we mail out the programming day to a whole bunch of people. And they watch it on their TVs, relaxed at home. Hey, what better than that? But uh, I want to thank you for telling a friend and having a friend tell a friend about NCTV 45, Newcastle's community television station. Thanks for all your kind comments and everything you do each and every day to make Newcastle a better place. Newcastle, Lawrence County, you know, and NCTV 45, always in the pursuit of excellence. And uh, now as I bid you farewell, I tell you to make sure that you get that second cup of iced tea, lemonade, whatever it is. NCLC, by the way, will be coming up in about another hour. Get whatever it is and take an extra piece of that pie maybe or that dessert, sneak it in there, and have a great evening in what I call the greatest castle in the world in the county of Lawrence. Have a great day, everybody, a great evening, and we'll see you again real soon. Got my ticket for the midnight plane, and it's not easy.